Hello, and thank you for coming to Dev Chanel 48's World, where we do the young and the restless soap opera reviews. We're going over the one that aired on April 19th, Wednesday. We have uh, Nikki is over there seeing Victoria to see how she's faring. They both are talking about Reed's car. Nikki is willing to talk to Reed for Victoria to let him understand that it just wasn't right what Victor did, undermining your mother, going behind her back, uh, demeaning her wishes, whereas she didn't want you to have a car right now. Maybe when you turn 18, but not at 16. Okay, that just wasn't right for Victor to do. Then we have Victoria says, no, it just is what it is. So then we have Billy and Phyllis. They slept together once again. Dumb Billy. So dumb. And I have to put the writers there right along with Billy's character because, I mean, come on. It didn't really work. It was a hot mess then. Why replay it again, writers? Why do that? Well, I couldn't. Couldn't they have put him with somebody else? Or why they just didn't leave him as a family man, putting the family back together? That would have been more plausible than what they tried to do. They could have put in something else. What, they going to have Phyllis pregnant next? And that's how it's going to be shown that Billy went outside the relationship when Victoria is just getting back to see Billy as her husband. I mean, wow, y'all messing up over on the boat and beautiful. Then you turn around here messing up on the young and the restless. I can't take it, writers. What are we to do with you all? Because <sighs> I'm sure y'all going to put Phyllis as coming up pregnant. Messing up everything. Okay. Then we have Sharon and Scotty are on a unofficial date and they're at the movie seeing a French film. Then we have Sharon, Sharon thought um, he wanted something else with her, but it was just to ask her out on a date to just go to the movies to have her wind down because he saw how much pressure she was, you know, being under with school with uh, her daughter coming back and all those added pressures. Then we have Mariah and Kevin notice that Scott and Sharon are at the same movie that they are. And they call them out on it. Okay, then all four of them watch the French movie together. Then we have small talk that's going on with Jack and Abby. We have Michael has drawn up paperwork and documents cementing a group business partnership between Devon and Neil. The four people, meaning Sharon, Mariah, uh, Scott, and Kevin are watching the movie all together a French movie they're taking it all in then Mariah sees Tessa Tessa snuck into the movie theater and Mariah is trying to figure out why she's there and why she's there by herself then we have Nikki and Victoria talking about Victor and Billy Victoria tells her mom she wants Billy back she wants to have the family that they've definitely been cheated out of so many many times before and her father had a part in that as well she wants him back as her husband but she don't know billy has already strayed away yes once again always you give billy too much room to react to his feelings when you shut him down he will do the unexpected or pretty much the expected he always blows stuff writers when are you gonna get better with that small talk still being going on between phyllis and billy about relationships billy says something Phyllis didn't like, so she got up. She said, you need to go on back to your wife. Try to get things happening there again. Go to commercial, we come back. We have Nikki is thrilled that Victoria and Billy have found their way back to one another. Nikki now is blaming herself once again for Victor's actions and spoiling his children's um, any happiness in their relationships. Okay. Then we have Nikki plays the big front. She's going to take Victor back. When he asks for her again, she's so predictable. And we all know it. The writer's going to write it that way. <sighs> the once love affair, hence, never Victor doing anything wrong that Nikki would never, ever, ever forgive him for. Yeah, right. Moving on, Nikki tells Victoria to go get her man. Then we have Billy says he can breathe when he's with Phyllis. He, can't, he can be himself when he's with her. He's pouring his soul and heart out to Phyllis. I'm like, didn't we relive this about six months ago? Ah, Billy says the only reason why he stayed with Victoria was because Phyllis was trying to save her marriage to his brother Jack. Here we have Phyllis is such a whore, period, and point blank. 
Abby's still talking to Jack about being acting CEO for Newman Enterprises. Devon has surprised his dad by giving him a 50-50 partnership of their company, and Neil has a problem with it. Ah, we have commercial coming. We have uh, we, we leave for commercial. We come back. We have Devon is telling Neil it's going to stay 50-50 partnership. That's it. Devon says we are family, and family sticks together as equal standing and has equal standing. We have Abby is getting on Jack about treating her like a dumb blonde, even though that's his niece. Okay. Small talk is still going on between Victoria and Nikki. Nikki tells Victoria to tell Billy half the truth. Um, uh, Nikki, why not all the truth? Okay. Nikki tells Victoria to use the car idea that Victor did and let that be. Really, Nikki? You're still taking up for Victor. You're still taking up for your livelihood, your prestige, your power. Oh, when will you learn, Nikki? Oh, better yet, when will the writers learn? Okay. Both whores are finishing up the bed twist and says, or tryst, and says goodbye for now. And that's Billy and Phyllis. We go to commercial, we come back. We have Devon and Neil are going over uh, their mission, goals, and vision statements for their new company. All four, all four are still talking about the movie, meaning Kevin, Scotty, um, Sharon, and Mariah. Still not liking it so much, Kevin. Mariah is looking for Tess. Tess is seeing what pretty much happened to her. Then we have Devon ran into Abby, and Devon tells Abby that him and his father are going into business together. And of course, Neil and Devon congratulate her on acting CEO. Uh, with regards to Newman Enterprises. Then we have Neil is giving Abby some solid advice, which she uh, takes in consideration and she goes over and hugs him for it. Then we have Nikki's at the club. She's thinking about getting that drink. <laughs> Victor can't make you drink. You know what I'm saying? He can make you come out of your sobriety in a heartbeat. But Jack intervenes and goes over to, and say hi to her. I mean, I feel this tells Michael about Billy, okay? Billy is back at the office and Victoria tells him she's sorry, as usual. We go to commercial, we come back. We have Victoria trying to talk to Billy, but she's doing a piss poor ass job at it. Victoria needs to just tell Billy what's up, okay? Not going to change anything because while she pushed him away, he fell right into Phyllis' arms, okay? Phyllis and Michael are still discussing Billy. Michael don't think it's a good idea. That's what broke her marriage up to Jack and what got them in this bad situation as we can speak about now, openly. Then we have Michael says, anyone else except for Billy, okay? Ah, uh, Phyllis tells Michael, well, Jack has moved on with Gloria, your mother. Michael chokes on his own spit or his drink. You go, you figure it out, which one that makes you chuckle the most. Then we have small talk going over with Scotty and Sharon. Uh, about the movie they had just got finished seeing and the quality time that they're spending with one another. I don't know if one day represents quality time, but maybe they're just figuring in the time that they do spend with each other at Crimson Lights. Who knows? Go figure. Because wasn't he just trying to get in Phyllis's pants as well? Mm. Whoo, small talk still going on with Jack and Nikki at the club. Then we have Tessa's talking to someone on the phone at Crimson Lights. When Mariah comes up to say hi to her. I need to see what happened to her after the movie. Okay, but she is, prior to that, is talking with Kevin. And Mariah's not liking uh, Scotty seeing her mother at all. We go to commercial, we come back. Tessa's telling Mariah she scored a job with Nikki Newman as her assistant. And Mariah's kind of puzzled because Nikki doesn't have a job or she doesn't go into anyone's job. She's a home maker okay housewife Raz telling her i saw you at the movies and she's wondering where she went to but of course tessa deflects and talks about something else when kevin comes over and mariah introduces kevin to tessa small talk uh with jack and nikki continue jack thinks um scotty is going wait a minute jack thinks Something else is going on with Nikki, and he's absolutely right. He was married to her briefly, so he should know her. Plus, they're lifelong friends. Then we have Nikki notice that Sharon and Scotty are at the club together, and she's wondering why. Then Nikki goes over to in introduce Jack to Scott, and Sharon excuses herself. She goes to the restroom while the three intermingle with one another. Then we have Nikki sits down and chats a little with Scott, and Victoria 
about Victor Victor's book. Here we have Michael can't believe his mother and Jack ew, are actually doing the mumbo lumbo. Okay. Here we have Phyllis says she's going to go for Billy, whether anyone likes it or not. Then we go to the last and final scene. We have Billy is telling Victoria to let's just keep things the way they are. I'm like stupid Billy. Of course you want that. Because once again, you fucked up. You let your emotions just get too much out the way. And you've done something you definitely regret. Because you jumped. You jumped too fast, honey. You jumped in the pool without a lifeguard being present. Okay. But y'all, that is my retake recap of the Young and the Restless that aired on Wednesday, April 19th. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll be back today, God willing, giving you more play-by-play, blow-by-blow of both the soaps I do cover, both in the beautiful and young and the restless. Take care, guys. Bye.